Hey guys, my name is Jake Intellis. I'm a music producer and mix engineer. And today I'd like to show you a product from a company called Source Elements. So what Source Live basically is, is say you have a lot of clients that don't live in your area or say are in another country and it comes time to send a mix one. So you send a mix one and you go back and forth and email maybe 10 times and you do a little small changes here and there. You raise the kick at a half dB or raise the vocals or can the reverb be longer, stuff like that. So what happens on email is that a lot of it like the intricacies of details get kind of missed and you kind of lose that that touch for like music I, I think on email so what source live enables you to do as a mixing engineer is to basically stream a high quality low latency and encrypted audio or and video in sync from your you know digital audio workstation which is your dos it has pro tools logic ableton so what they do is they have a plugin that you insert on your main bus or master bus or stereo bus and then there's an app that installs your computer, which talks to a web link that you send to people. And on that web link, you can text chat with them as well as video chat and audio chat on that link, which is also where they stream the audio, which has like a drop of latency, but the quality is awesome. And it's like listening to like a 320 MP3, which is, you know, which is not bad considering that's what people are listening to, um, especially for doing recalls. And it avoids a lot of time back and forth. And as well as, you know, clients can listen to it while you change stuff in their own studio or own environment or headphones that they know really well, which helps cut down on recall time. So this is for Mac only. And they also have an iPhone app that someone could listen to on the other end. Um, so the iPhone app is not to send audio, but it's, it's so they can chat with you and they can listen to what you're sending. And they have an HD video and audio version. So if you want to stream video that you're working on, not just audio or music, you can do that as well, which I'm just going to go through today the basic version, which is Source Live Basic. So the same principles apply, just the one I'm going to deal with is only streaming audio. Whereas the Pro version streams audio and video. Say you're doing like film or TV stuff and you want to, you know, send someone what you're working on, you can do it with this app as well. And it's really easy to set up. So let's get right to it. Now I'm going to link this in the description, but it's sourceelements.com slash products slash source live. And what you want to do to try it out or demo it or buy it, you're going to go to this page and hit versions and pricing. And then down here, you see the comparisons of the different products, which is basic and pro, which I kind of went through quickly, the pricing um, and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, on the pro version, you could subscribe um, instead of buying if, you, if you're into that type of thing. So you can do 45 a month or 995 flat uh, for the basic version. It's 395. And, you know, it, it might seem like a lot or not, but for me, it's this is saving me like hours, like sometimes a week of recalls. So it's kind of a no-brainer if you're doing a lot of like mixed stuff for clients, not just your own stuff. And you, you're going to go ahead and download it, install it, go through the motions. And then once you're done, it'll install plugins that, you, that will uh, show up in your uh, DAW, which I'll show you how to set up now. So let's get right to it. So I'm going to Pro Tools say, but this works pretty much in any DAW that supports AU, VST, or AAX plugins. This is an old session, and I don't have it routed too fancy, but basically I want the person on the other end to hear everything in the mix, every track, not just one track. So the way it's routed right now is everything's going to one output, which is the master fader here. So I'm basically going to go onto the first insert, or if I want the person to hear a limiter that I have on, I'll you know drag that first and perhaps put the source live last. So basically, if you want them to hear your mix processing, put it last in a chain. And just don't forget to turn it off once you're actually printing the final mix. That way it's not going through extra processing that it doesn't need to be. So we're going to go to Source Elements. And we're going to select Source Live Link, which links it to the app, which I will show you in a second. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click through that. Once audio is passing through, it'll pass through the app. Now we're going to click Source Live here, which opens up their background app, which is down here. And it auto logs me in because everybody sets it up. But you'll sign in. You have an account. Put in a password. And really simple interface. You hit start to start streaming. But I'm going to actually go backwards. Let's actually go to audio. And what we want to do is select the input that you know, that you want to be sending to people listening. So in this case, it's going to be link one, which is which is exactly what's on this plugin. It's a link plugin. So whatever is being sent from here, whether it's stereo or mono, it'll be sent through there. Quality level. I'm going to do 320. And this session is is uh, 44.1 and stereo. So that's where we're going to stream. And listeners is when you actually send people invites or they click it, you'll see them here. Stream is, you know, you can test your ports, make sure it's set up right, which in my case it is. You can password protect this, which I have off right now. You can set the buffer. 
And that's pretty much all there is to it. So the, the, like the really, so really the main thing beyond all that is making sure you have it set to link. Otherwise, it will not work. So it's set to link. That's all good. We'll hit start. And let's see if we see some audio. Cool. So as you can see, it was coming through. So I know that it's sending, but we're not sending to anyone yet. So we haven't we haven't shared it, right? And we got to make sure through is hit on that, of course. So over here, you see the share button. Let's click it and let's make a new browser. And let's paste in. And this is what you'd send to someone to invite them to stream in. And they don't have to have any software. All they have to do is go to this link or the free iPhone app. So once you get here, they're asking you to put a name that you use for the chat. You can put anything you want. I'll put in my own name since I'm doing this tutorial myself and hit start. And as you see here, you have a chat. So you can say, hey, mix notes. Um, you can pop in some stuff, you know, comments if you, if you don't want to actually use the video chat and audio chat. But they do have built-in video chat. So you hit uh, join video chat. And you can see me here. And you can select your microphone, which uh, in my case would actually be the H6 that I'm using for this voiceover. So we'll leave that alone. You can set your camera or do no camera and just do audio. That's fine. And pretty much as soon as someone plays something, you'll hear it through this app. And you can text them or chat. Or, or talk any way you want. And the beauty of this is that it cuts down on recall time. And I find that it makes client experiences a lot a lot more enjoyable for all parties. And everyone's happy in the end with less time. And they know that it's like instant. Like they can communicate live to you instead of waiting a day for an email. And you can schedule a time to do the recall. And it's, it's super handy. So just to go over what we did in short, on the inserts and Pro Tools or whatever DAR you're in, you're going to insert the, uh, the link plugin. And then you're going to click here, which opens the app. Make sure through is on. And then in audio, make sure you have link selected. And then you got to start the stream, which is here. And you share a link here. And it's super simple to use and really easy. So if you guys want to check them out, definitely check out sourceelements.com and type in, you know, and search for Source Live or go to this link, which I'll link below. And they offer a 15-day trial so you can see if it works for you or if you're into it. And I highly recommend you guys give it a shot. So as always, thanks for watching. And if you guys, you know, have any comments, let me know in the comment section of YouTube and hit like on the video if you liked it. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe.